Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. And um, this is the guess the price tool haul and um, for two job lots I've recently bought of uh, adjustable spanners. Um, not usually the type of spanners I buy, but I've got my reasons which I'll go into. So the first job lot, which is a rather cool job lot, I really Jim from Hand Tool Restoration wanted to bid on this as well. Um, and I wanted it, but only for one one of the spanners, which is this this four inch Gidor. And the reason I wanted it because I've never seen a four inch with a fishtail sort of um, a wrench on the end of it. You know, it's kind of unusual. And so it's I mean, kind of you know I've never seen a four inch anyway. So I really wanted that for my four inch collection because I've not seen one before. So Jim kindly took his bid off so I could have a go on that. And then, and I thought to Jim, I'll send him the rest, you know, the ones I don't have a use for. So without further ado, let's get into the other ones. So we've got this little Barco, um, little Barco 4-inch. Um, might put that on the display, I don't know yet. We've got a little King Dick 4-inch, which is different to the one I've got. So I, might, I may keep that, or that might go to Jack, because Jack collects King Dicks. Um, I've got a four inch Crescent, Crestaloy Crescent, Jamestown, New York. Um, so that will go on the tool board, which I'm going to show you at the end. We've got another Crescent, Jamestown, New York, Crystalloy. So that will go on the tool board. We've got a Crystalloy, um, same again, um, Crescent brand, but a more modern one. But I'll stick it on the tool board because it fills the tool. We've got a six inch. Uh, King Dick, what's kind of missing the chrome, um, also British made. Does that one there say Brit British made carbon? Yes, yeah, it says British made, it's the same. So, and then we've got here a Gordon um, six inch adjustable, which I'll probably go to um, Jim because I don't know, he collects six inches and I don't know if he's got that one or not for his collection. And then we've got another six inch, which will definitely go to Jim because I've got no use for that at all. So we've got some for me, some for Jack, and some for Jim. A lot we've got here, which is a Crystalloy, um, but it's a Crescent Tool, Jamestown, New York. This is a 10 inch, and then we've got a Dime Alloy, which, um, which is a cork and horseshoe, which is very similar. So I think I'll just put them on my um on my tool display because I think they're pretty much the same wrench. Um, we've got another Dime Alloy USA made, a uh, diamond cork and horseshoe, uh, an eight inch. We've got another Crystalloy um, as well. And then we've got another Jamestown, New York Crystalloy. So there's there's a lot of to, a lot of spanners there to help fill up the board. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the ones on the board and then we'll put the remainder for the guess the price away in the drawer. Um, for me, my favourite, there's only one one item here which is definitely my favourite, um, is this one here, the Ghidorah, because I've never seen one with a, a little end on the end. Um, but I'm sh maybe some of you guys have got different ideas on which is the best. I do think that little King Dick's kind of cool as well. So, you know, it's got its merits. Um, bit of a bland guess the price because it's all very similar. But this is what I bought, and I think they're kind of cool. If you don't ask me, if you don't ask me, so let's get them on the tool board and see what they look like. So this is the tool board, the Jamestown tool board, which I've been trying to fill up. And as you can see, some will accept three spanners to fill the board, and then some will accept four spanners to fill. And um, so it depends on which one. So. If you remember what it looks like before, let's get the spanners on it and see what it looks like after. And this is what it looks like after. So I think we've pretty much filled the top. It's all pretty full with the, um, you know, on the hooks. On the bottom, there's still some room to go. I think we're missing possibly um, three 10 inches and possibly two 12 inches. And I think we're pretty much filled but if we get nicer examples of the uh, Jamestown New York we'll probably swap it for the uh, um, what you call it the diamond horseshoe and make it all the same but yeah that looks pretty good now starting to fill up so you can see the reason why I bought them two lots 
All right, hopefully you enjoyed that. Don't forget to put a guess in the comment how much you think I actually paid for all those lots. All right, take care. Bye.